What's up everyone, it's Matt Morozik and this will be my unboxing review of the Winter Tibet model kit, garage kit. This actually isn't a garage kit because these uh, are amazingly produced. Uh, this is by the same sculptor that did the Fish General. They, he did the, uh, uh, I call it Cherry Blossom, but the one with this is it's like the head with the pond in the back. And he also did the one with the moon behind her. Um, I'm gonna butcher his name, but I, I, I think you pronounce it uh, Yi Lang. I think that's how you pronounce it. But this sculptor is amazing. The kits they put out are in crazy, crazy high quality for the price. I think it's, I think the price on the kit is very, very good for what you get. But I think the kit, if I remember correctly, was about, I want to say like $4.25. It took a year to get. I pre-ordered this about a year ago, and then I just got it the other day. So, you know, it takes a long time to get these things. And they only ship so many of these to the U.S. I don't know the number or how many of these they made. But uh, I haven't opened it up yet, but it usually comes in this really nice box like this. Now, my Fish General I got, I bought secondhand, and it did not come in a second box, which it should have. So I was really pissed at the seller because the outer box came damaged heavily. And luckily the kit itself was fine, but they usually come in a nice box like this, very high quality. This is a big box, but the piece is relatively large too. I think this scale is, I wanna say, um, it's either half scale, it's not quite full scale, but it's about half scale, I would guess. So let's open her up and take a look inside. So I'm gonna pause, actually I'll just do it right here. Cause the packaging is really nice. So you open up the box. And you're greeted with this. So it's almost like a, you know, it's kind of your typical foam with straps, but this is super, super high quality. And the way they pack these things is amazing. I mean, you just can't get a better quality kit uh, than one of these, in my opinion. Um, they're actually so pretty. Um, like, if I had the, like the, 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 the cherry blossom, okay, I'm gonna call it the wrong name, the cherry blossom one, I, I wouldn't even paint it. So you get a, a pamphlet on top. Um, now this is, I don't know the language. I'm not even gonna say it because I'll say it wrong. <laughs> I'm not even sure what language this is. Um, let me get a photo of the sculpted piece right there. Um, now what's interesting is I think in the wood grain, they have a QR code of some sort or some sort of code to show you that it's an original piece. So if you get a counterfeit, that won't be there, which is really interesting. Getting kind of uh, sneaky with these. You get a parts layout here and how to put it all together. Again, just super high, a lot of tiny parts, but wait till you see how this goes. I don't know if I'll, how much I'll be able to put together, the last one I reviewed, I was able to put, put together about 90% because the fit is like near perfect. And then you undo the straps like this. Now this says Liang, so I'm not sure if I'm saying his name correctly. Uh, someone can correct me, whoever watches this can correct me if I'm wrong. And then you open it up and you agree to with these individually compartmentalized pieces. Um, oh, so now what they did here different than what they've done on previous pieces that they're all kind of taped in. So I'm gonna kind of cut these loose a little bit. I'm gonna pull that out. So here's like the first part. Everything's beautifully flat, beautifully packed. I mean, it's crazy how delicate these things are. They pack them so well that there's like no breakage. So I'm gonna put that to the side. Personally, I don't think they needed the tape. Um, they didn't have that on the other ones I've unboxed. This, this piece is crazy, crazy delicate. Look at this. It is so pretty. And it's perfectly casted, perfectly molded. It's just, it's unreal. Really, really beautiful piece. I'm actually I'm gonna use this foam over here to put the pieces on. And I'm gonna put the little baggies back in the compartment that came from so I know where they go. 
Here's her hands, her praying hands. Again, this tape I'm not a fan of. Uh, there's just a risk of cutting something you don't want to cut. I don't think they needed it. The bags are nice. I don't know if the bags are necessary, but they're nice. You know, like, like this bag I'll probably just throw away. I'll keep it. I don't know. Put it back in there. Again, just really pretty. I'm going to just kind of unwrap everything here. There's a lot of pieces. It's maybe, it's maybe quite a, a long unboxing. Again, this tape I'm not a fan of. I don't think they need it. Because like on a piece like this, it's really crazy delicate. You're gonna have to go in there and cut the tape to get the bag on opened up. And in doing that, you risk damaging the piece. Look at this. It's crazy, crazy. Delicate. I don't know if there's a metal rod in there or not, but that is some crazy delicate uh, piece right there. If this starts to take too long, I'll just pause it and come back after I get everything unwrapped. This could take a while. Partially because of the damn tape. Did I tell you how much I don't like the tape? Again, because this part, these parts are really delicate and they're, it's hard to open a bag, especially with packing tape on it. It's super sticky. You can inadvertently break a piece trying to take it off. Really nice. The trick is gonna be remembering where all these pieces go. I have to look at the pamphlet because sometimes I think they send you a packing guide too of where the pieces go. Now they did, I think they offered this in a pre-painted version too, because the other bus they did, I'm not sure if it'd be packed the same way, like if it all came apart like this. There's one of those guys. I try to get as much of the tape off these as I can without damaging anything because I don't like it. It's part of the time. Temple, the temple, if I can spit it out. Really nice, it looks like it has a magnet in it. I think the other one's called Spring Blossom. I think because all they're all based on a different season. So again, I could, I could be saying that wrong. I don't know. It's nice they send, they send you that assembly guide because there's so many little pieces. They have everything keyed really well. Um, and every little bag has his logo on it, which is, uh, which is really cool. Nice branding. Some leaves here, petals. Sculpted really nicely. So delicate. I mean, look at the roof. How thin and crazy delicate that is. I managed to pack it, no problem. Good plants of some sort. Yeah, I don't like it because I had to cut. I had to cut into the foam, which I don't like because I like to. Especially when the packaging is this nice, I like to try to keep the packaging in good shape. It's just, so, it's just a nice presentation. Some liberated hair. I have another kit to review today too.
spent the past few days cleaning my work area, like deep cleaning it. And I reordered it on my workbench. I'm gonna try it a different way for a while. So they, it has these rams running down the, the side of her head. And that is just crazy, crazy beautiful. I purchased this from Rui Ma off of Facebook. I don't know if it's available. I don't know if it's sold out, but you can send him a private message. I'll put his uh, pro link to his profile page down below. So if anyone asks me, is this available? Is it sold out? I'm not going to answer because I've stated it in my video where I bought it, and I don't know. So <laughs> it's really it's pretty uh, obvious when someone just sees the title of your video and they don't even watch it. They just ask, is it available? Where do I get it? They haven't watched the video because they always say. This is where I got it from. Don't know if it's sold. Don't know if it's sold out. Is this sold out? I already answered the question. So, watch the video. I know my videos aren't the most exciting, but I do provide a lot of information. Yeah. Uh, this tape is killing me. And what they did is they put like one strip across the whole thing on each row, and it's just so everything is taped together. That's my one crit so far of this, is the tape. I'm not gonna even save these bags. Oh, don't drop it. I'm pretty confident this resin is really high quality if I drop the piece, unless it's super, super delicate, that it wouldn't break. But you never want to. Don't want, let's not test that theory. But again, I think for the, the price of this kit, is just I think they're super, super reasonable. Because these are like some of the highest quality kits I've ever seen. Um, just stellar, stellar, stellar product. The fish gen I, I got secondhand, like I said, and it didn't come. I don't know if it came in a box like this, but it should have come in a, a secondary box, like an inner box and in the outer box. And it didn't come in the inner box, um, or it didn't come in the outer box, but it got the box was heavily damaged. But, um, you know, I paid a little more. For that piece because it was second hand and that is you can't find that is sold out you could get to buy it from a collector but still the price i paid it that was pretty pretty reasonable for what it is so these bags i'm gonna worry about keeping because they're all taped together okay so that's the first layer Let's look at the second layer that took a while how long did that take 12 minutes all right so now down here ooh, there's her head Here's the main part of the, the temple. Be careful, just have a lot of little pointy parts on it. Wow, <laughs> this is crazy, look at that. That is insane. This is amazing. Wow, really, really pretty. Again, like I don't wanna paint this thing. It's so, it's so pretty just as is. Now there's no tape on these, it doesn't seem like. Just on the top layer. I want to put that bag back. There. Oh, this is the one. If I can salvage the bag, I will. Look at this, this is crazy. These little columns right here are just kind of loose. They're not even attached to anything. I'm gonna pull the head out last. So I have a feeling there's another layer with the base on it. Looks like some of her hair. Okay, this piece, what is this? Wow. So this piece, the way they have this packed, is just, it is crazy that they're able to ship this without this busting into a million pieces. Look at that. No damage whatsoever. Just really, really amazing how they can, how they pack these. Everyone should learn from how these guys pack the kit, and how they ship the kit. Okay, I'm gonna take that out last. There's some tape right here. Okay, so this is a, uh, I'm sorry, my arm's in front of the camera right now. Some petals, so this is a double layer. More petals. Okay, so this, uh, this has a lot of petals in it. I'm gonna pull the foam back in there. Cause I will, Depending if I can get this to stay together. If I can get this to stay together, I'll, I'll put it together and display it. 
If not, I'll pack her back up and put her away to, to paint someday. Man, these are just pretty. I gotta do that. Just gotta roll it up nicely and put it in the styrofoam, and it'll it'll stay. There's enough pressure in there that it'll it'll keep it'll stay in place. It doesn't need all that tape. Some jewelry. Looks like a necklace, maybe. All right, some more of the temple. Details are off the chart. I'm guessing the wooden base is down below. And then let's take the head out. There's a now there's a spike right here, detail pick is sticking straight up and it's not broken. Oh wait, here's something. I don't know where this came from. But it doesn't look broken. I'm not sure they came from somewhere. This may be full scale. I don't know what you guys think. So here are the rams running down the side of her and they have the three heads that plug in. There's a piece of foam right here. I'm gonna take that off, it's protecting something. But this is perfectly sculpted, casted, molded, whatever you wanna say. It's just, it's perfect. There's no, these aren't, there's no cleanup on these guys. These are just ready to paint right out of the box. See all these little keys, tons of little keys for all these little parts coming out. So I'm actually gonna put her back in the foam for now, just like that, because I don't wanna, there's some very delicate parts on the bottom that I don't wanna break. And this should be the face. Yeah, so another cool thing they do is they give you a, a framed print of the artwork. That's such a cool touch. And it's nothing fancy, it's just a nice print with the signature, he signs it. It's like a certificate of authenticity, the date. This is uh, January 21st, 2021. QC pass. So something you can display with it. I'm gonna put that back in here and just put it back in the box for now. fragile I'm sure. That's a piece of clear resin with a rod in it. It's like water maybe? Like dripping water? I'm not aware of that on this piece. Okay. And then I got a few more little pieces here and then I can pull the base out and we can start putting her together. Another piece of hair. A lot of these pieces have magnets in them. Super tiny magnets. Otherwise, they have a nice key in them. It boggles my mind how they can cast, mold these, and ship these without breaking. Just really, really insanely done really well. Okay, those are just some sil silica packets. All right, here's the base. Number 908. I'm not sure how they made. So... I'm sure they said, I wanted to see if, that, if I see like a QC, and this is just stained wood. So I'm gonna put this to the side now in the box. The 
that down. And I'm gonna bring my camera down. We'll try to put her together, see how much we can get to stay together. I have a feeling a good portion of it's gonna stay together. Just fine. So let's get out the assembly guide. that this goes down first like so I want to see what this there's something about anti-counterfeiting authentic um, authentication I'm not sure what they're report what they're pointing I, I can't read what this is so I don't know what they're pointing to to me it looks like they're pointing to the wood grain but I don't see anything in the wood grain that would indicate like a, I don't know, so that just sits in there. And I'm gonna put the head on. Okay. Nice big key right here and there's magnets in it. So you're probably Camera down and change my light a little bit so you can see. I don't have any fancy gimbals or anything like that. Really, just a tripod. That's why it's all jerky all the time. I should really study like video filmmaking. <laughs> okay, let's get some light on her. And I'm gonna just zoom out and get closer with the camera so I can see what's going together. Okay, steps one. So we did that. And now they're telling us to put on, let's see, I need, okay, this may take me a while, so hopefully you're patient. 36 goes right here. Just this thing up. This piece, I think. Yeah, this goes here. Okay, so it plugs in here. So there's a magnet back here, and there, and there. So there's a ma man. Okay, so the way this hair goes on, it plugs into the key back here, and there's a key here, and a key here, and all three keys have magnets. It fits perfectly. Okay. And then this little piece of jewelry goes here. What was I supposed to go on first? Oh no, this comes up here. Right there. Uh, what goes on that key? Looks like a strand of hair. So again, there's a key here. So it looks like I gotta put this one on first. So there's an order to this. Oh, they tell me the order here. One, two. Okay, if I follow the instructions. Uh, three, what is that? That's that little. I gotta find it. This is it, no. Okay, I don't see that piece, so maybe I missed unpacking a piece. One, two, three, four. All right, 
That's going to go there. Again, magnets in all the keys. Go like that. That goes up there. Okay, all the RAM heads. These probably have specific buys that go into. Yep, that guy goes there. This guy goes here. And there's no seam work to do. The seams are pretty much non-existent, so it makes it you're able to take this apart if you need to to ship it. This comes in here in the base, just like that. Hands. Just fit in like that. Also helps to look at the just look at the dang pictures. Oops. Oh crap. Hands are getting caught on stuff. Okay, so this is gonna come in here like this. There's a little hopefully it fits. I gotta stretch it out a little bit right there. Just like that. So I'm looking at the photos here. Okay, I think I may have missed unpacking a piece. No, that's right here. I just found it there. Just like that. That's cool. Like these rams are coming out of this. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be water or clouds. Okay, so there's that. And now we're going to spin it around. Now I can put this on, the headpiece. And then we'll come around here. Fit is perfect on these pieces, it's crazy. Considering how complicated it is. I bet this is okay, this might have to go in before that one. Hope you guys aren't getting too bored. This is kind of fun to see how this all goes together. So again, I got this going on in the wrong order. Where these go in? I'm not getting it. Because they overlap on each other. I think this one's got to go in first. You have to. That's got to go in first because you can't get the hair around it. Uh. Okay, well it stopped recording, so I'm not sure at what point it stopped recording. 
usually after 30 minutes it just goes and makes a new folder but it didn't do that so i need to check my settings so i got that all put in um and then next is to do this temple and this has a bunch of pieces that go into it so i may pause and come back so i don't run well let's we'll see what if it stops recording again or stops recording again i don't you know it is what it is question is can i put this in and then put some of this stuff on Nope, I don't think so. I gotta put this in. Magnet there. Magnet there. Da, 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 da. And then I think I put this in. right here super delicate that's crazy <laughs> those little cons are so delicate but I was able to pull them out just enough to get them to go in and then we got all this crazy stuff kind of flying off of this See if we can find all the keys. I think this comes through here like this. There's a key up in here. The triangle on it. I think it comes through here. It's a tight fit there. Might have to heat that up a little bit. Just wanted to pull this building up a hair. All right, this guy. Again, you really look at the photograph. Sorry if I'm in front of the camera. That's gonna go there. That's pretty obvious. Goes there. Well, that's interesting. That goes like that because there's a key there. Okay, that's how it goes. I think that's how that goes. I actually almost have this together. Okay, so this guy out here he comes out there that goes there this piece comes into here but I might have to take this temple out to get it to go in 
Here it goes. Okay, some interesting uh, things you gotta do to get things to go in. I don't wanna push on too hard. Okay, there we go. I've got one more little thing here. Oh no, this goes up here. That makes sense. Man, it's a strong magnet for just a little piece. That's crazy strong for that little piece. Okay, I think I may be missing another piece that I missed unpacked. So I have to go through these and check the compartments again. I think I missed a few pieces. Missing one here. Oh, this guy comes here. I think no. Okay, so this. Pieces, if it doesn't, if it's not going in, you know you don't have the right place because the fit is so damn good. You really can't get things in the wrong spot. Okay, there's that. How much time we got? This gonna be a long unboxing. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but it's it is a puzzle putting this together. Oh, that's her earring. She's got one earring with a magnet. Very nice. Uh, and this oh, okay? Yeah. So this is water coming down through here. That's cool. Yeah. So it's water dripping down, splashing here. That's really nice. Oops, that didn't sound good. Sounds like something cracked. I don't see anything, but we don't know. Okay, I've got one more little rampy thing here. We'll call it a rampy thing. Did that. Where does this one go? Got one more of these. top part together next because that's like the next big thing so we've got and this goes on top of her head This just only should fit one way. There's the key. I think it's supposed to go this way. It's really tight. I don't want to force it. Does this thing go down maybe? No. I don't think this is too big. Piece. 
I don't know if I have it in correctly, but then you stack all these guys on top. That. Like that. Like that. And like that. Okay, so I've got one piece. I don't know where it goes yet. And one piece where I think I missed unpacking. the piece that I missed unpacking. This little guy right here. Which goes here. Oops. Like that. And then I've got this piece where I've got to find where it comes, where it goes in. It's got to come off the temple somewhere. But where? It's a really tiny key. So this tells you to take this out, put that in first, which makes sense. I did it backwards. And then put this on over top. You have to heat this piece up a little bit right here and get the bend down. Camera again. See my gray hair. Yeah, this has got to come down just a little bit. So I'll heat that up. And then where's this one going? Dang it! I'm going to see a. I'm going to see it on the parts list. This isn't even on the parts list, so I don't know where it's supposed to go. Unless it's an extra piece, but oh, there it goes. I found it. Ah, oh, it goes right here. Okay, so we got it all together. <laughs> that took a long time. Hopefully, stuck around to see it. Well, there you go. Winter Tibet. Here's some measurements here. Man, what a beautiful sculpt. I'm going to leave this out on my shelf to display. Okay, so from the bottom of the base to the top of the flower, you're looking at about, oh, about 17 inches. Nice size. The depth, you're looking at about a foot. And the width you're looking at, the base, it's about nine inches. So great piece, beautiful sculpt. I'll put a link down below to um, Rui Ma on Facebook. He's the person that gets these for us in the US. Like I said, I'm not sure if there's any available. Um, I can't tell you the price was around, I can't remember if it was 425 or 450 for this, but it is crazy, crazy high quality. The fit on everything is perfect. Um, the sculpt is perfect. The casting quality is perfect. I mean, it's just a perfect, perfect piece. So you get what you pay for. So there you go. Very long unboxing and assembly video of this piece, but I think it's worth it. So hopefully you guys stick around and watch it. I'm not sure where the recording cut off earlier. I think I was working on trying to figure out how to get our hair intertwined here. These all kind of weave in and out of each other. But just a beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous piece. So. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you stuck around for the whole video. Um, what is it? Let's just take this off and see what this looks like. Since we got it all together, right? Uh, yeah, just some very delicate tips right there. Yeah, I'm going to put this out and display it. It's a really pretty piece. So uh, there you go. Thanks for watching. Um, and uh, stick, stick, ah, blah, blah, blah. stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to do another review here in a second. 
of a small bus from a friend of mine and I'll put his dis uh, information in the description of that video but yeah it's a great piece man super pretty love it like I said these things are so pretty they don't <laughs> they, I wouldn't, you don't even, shouldn't even paint them just leave them as is because they're just gorgeous so there you go thanks for watching we'll catch you guys on the next one bye